Oh dear, what's going on here? This little girl finds herself in the middle of a UN information film about climate change. It's raining, which as we all know, is a sure indication that something's not right with the climate. Now she's watching TV, a show about climate change, of course, with lots of gratuitous, unrelated shots of human suffering. And now she's dreaming about the future, and it doesn't look good. Look out, little girl. There's a giant landfalling hurricane coming to get you. Please help the world. A heart-rending plea from the world's children. Or if you prefer, disgusting propaganda from shameless, cynical, tax-eating charlatans. I'm Tom Nelson, and this is the Gorilla Science Guide to Extreme Weather. The climate crisis. Really strong out here. What we're witnessing is tragic, and it is the consequence of our ongoing burning of fossil fuels. Nowhere is it more visible than in the extraordinary increase we're witnessing in the number and severity of storms and hurricanes. Yes, we've always had hurricanes, but it is different now in the intensity and the speed they're developing, and that is directly related to climate change, right? Industrial civilization is causing more hurricanes, and the solution is we must vote for left-wing parties. Now, we've known for decades our planet is warming, that we would start seeing the brutal effects. But conservatives remain so deep in their denial, they're flailing around for anyone or anything else to blame. Vote. Vote for the party that has started to make the changes that need to be made. That's why I'm voting for Kamala Harris. <laughs> and government agencies are prepared to back all of this up. The U.S. government's National Climate Assessment, NCA, published this worrying graph of an apparent increase in the strongest hurricanes in the North Atlantic. Here's another worrying graph, this time from NOAA, a total account of tornadoes in the U.S. from 1950. These two graphs have appeared again and again and again in the mainstream media and in climate propaganda to buttress the claim that hurricanes are getting worse. Let's look at these graphs more closely. Why did the NCA decide to start its hurricane data in 1970 and finish in 2010, when there was in fact much more data available? This is why. When we zoom out to look at hurricane activity since 1920, it is clear that there is in fact no long-term trend at all in North Atlantic hurricanes. The choice of this specific period is a shameless attempt to make it look like there's an increase when in fact there is not. And why does the mainstream media so often concentrate on the Atlantic? What's wrong with the Pacific? Here's data from Japan's official meteorological agency for the number of typhoons formed annually in the Pacific since 1951. The trend is down. And what about that other graph from NOAA? NOAA itself has admitted that this increase is illusory. In NOAA's own words, the apparent increase in named storms is more likely due to technological change, not natural or man-made climate change. And what is this technological change? It's the ability of the National Hurricane Center to observe and accurately diagnose more weak, short-lived named storms than had previously been observed. Over time, more Americans have been getting on the phone and reporting more storms. And thanks to technological advances, NOAA can identify relatively weak storms they previously missed. So is it possible to correct for this over-reporting and over-recording of weak storms? Yes, it is. Here's NOAA's much more reliable count of violent tornadoes in the U.S. from 1954. Is the trend up? Climate change, remember? No, the trend is clearly down. How about Atlantic hurricanes? Here from the EPA is the total number of hurricanes in the North Atlantic since 1878. There's no trend. And here, according to the EPA, are the number of hurricanes hitting the U.S. Zero trend. And here's another. U.S. landfalling hurricanes since 1900 this time from the Bulletin of the American Meteorological Society. There is no trend. Let's go back further. A reconstruction of landfalling U.S. hurricanes since 1790. Zero trend. The fact is that according to official data, there is no sign of any climate crisis whatsoever. None. Zero. In the U.S., there has been an average of 54 tornadoes a year from 1954 to 1987. And after 1987, this decreased to an average of 34 a year. How about the rest of the world? It's meant to be global warming, remember? Here's a record of global hurricane frequency since 1980. There's no trend up or down. And here's one of severe hurricanes in the same period. No trend up or down. Here's a measure of global accumulated cyclone energy, which charts the intensity, 
duration, and frequency of global hurricane activity. There is no discernible trend at all. All of this data, by the way, you can look up yourself. All of it exposes the shameless, naked lies of the climate alarmists. Whenever they say that climate deniers don't follow the science, the very opposite is true. Climate alarmists, and this includes government agencies, the mainstream media, and deranged green NGOs, are peddling errant lies that have no basis in science whatsoever. On page 769 of the National Climate Assessment Report, buried in an appendix where no one will see it, is the startling admission of the truth. There has been no significant trend in the global number of tropical cyclones, nor has any trend been identified in the number of U.S. landfalling hurricanes. But what does our mainstream media care about honesty and truth? The Weather Channel is now responding to reports that one of their reporters was essentially faking it during his coverage of Hurricane Florence. Please help the world. Remember that poor little girl in the UN video? This is nothing other than disgusting propaganda designed to frighten people into giving up more tax and more freedom. The climate alarm is a truly epic sham and scandal. Sometime, hopefully soon, there must be a reckoning. I'm Tom Nelson, and this is Guerrilla Science. Please subscribe to our channel and donate to carry on. We need your help.